Bristol is full of kind of these telescopic sort of focal length shots of, you know, you look down a street, you get this sudden, much, you know, flattening of perspective, and then right, you know, miles away, you'll see the hills and the countryside. And it's always going, come on, come on out for a walk, you know. It's a pull of animation. I think we were just lucky at the time because we did have a lot of weird looking friends working in the industry. <laughs> The one thing we decided at the beginning was we want to enjoy making this film. We don't want to think about where it's going. We just want to get our rocks off, basically, and play and experiment. You know? I must say, I, I never for a moment expected that, you know, whilst making the film, that I'd have to answer to such a distinguished group of people for our actions. Um, I must say, it was one award I never thought would come our way. It was. Um, I would probably have been less surprised if it had been an award for outstanding endurance and uh, perseverance, certainly on the part of the, uh, the performers in the film. Um, however, it's, uh, it's a source of great um, encouragement to, to discover that uh, one doesn't necessarily need access to a lot of sophisticated and expensive facility in order to qualify for this award. Um, certainly, I think our production certainly was not high tech. Um, wasn't even low tech. I mean, probably as tech as. You know. <laughs> what we did have, though, was a very small crew of very dedicated people. That um, about seven people in all, who performed the, 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 the characters. They they helped build the sets, helped to animate the the models, and I think generally, all in all, we we all had a fantastic. 18 months, would you believe, of filming. Um, but having said that, it was something that really we, we necessarily buried ourselves away from thinking about who might be watching this at the end of the day, just because really it, it might have affected adversely what we were doing, I think. <laughs> um, I think, if anything, this, this award really allows us to take back to certainly the animation community in Bristol. Um, a definite kind of, uh, uh, well, an acknowledgement really that, that we as animators aren't just um, a bunch of masochistic bunker culture people that, uh, <laughs> that like to sit away and, and, and really become obsessed with film. I think the idea that everybody in the film industry is equally as obsessed with what, well, what film can do you know, even when you get down to the single frame mode of it, you know, I mean, I think it's, for, for me, that's the most incredible thing about getting this award, it's, it's that there are a lot of kindred spirits in the industry that really share that obsession with us, you know, and uh, thanks very much for that. I never expected to work in commercials, you know, I thought nobody, you know, this film was quite grotesque, it was quite dark. In fact, a lot of the sort of comments we got from agencies initially was, could you do as a commercial? We really like Tom Sam. Could you do it in that way? You know, and you say, well, 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 yeah, maybe not quite as dirty, you know, or we don't want the sweat stuff, you know. Insects, you could have lots of insects as long as they're not near the products, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it was all kind of, you think, okay, all right, you, know, you want it in the start, but you know right from the beginning that they're going to want a sort of very watered down version of that, you know. They're very paranoid people, <laughs> agency people, you know, they hate, you know, everything's a risk, you know. you know. Nobody will say yes or no, because somebody behind them is going to kick them, you know. You could be a cameraman for 12, 15 years and still be amazed at what it actually makes this bloody stuff work is 24 pictures every second going through and making motion, you know. To be able to stop that and play with a frame, you know, you couldn't resist it, you know. It's just uh, live action, I've always had a kind of feeling with live action, it's a bit of a really, I mean, it's like using it like videotape, you know, you know, you just use it to record a bit of live action, you know, I mean, to me, what a bloody boring way to work with something, you know, been doing it for a hundred years or something. We had actually created a style. It will always be seen as something a little bit dark and something a little, you know, I think dark humour is probably one of our things, you know, we, we, I like to make things which you know, the emphasis is on the humour, but it's a dark humour and it's an edge. I know. Why don't we call him Tom? Tom.
Tom Thumb. I think the influence that's come out of here and that I've seen around the world is, is it's been quite incredible, really. The, you know, the influence that that's had, where people are emulating your styles. You know, I think certain particular styles have been created by Ardman and, and Bolex. They're very different, but they're quite distinctive styles. Um, and I think that to see that emulated and aspired towards by people around the world, you know, has been really gratifying.